Hi, English 130. Uh, my name's Ali Matucci, and I am your English instructor for fall 2020. And this is my dog, <laughs> Mona Lisa. Um, so I just want to really briefly um, sort of get you set up for the semester and walk you through what the first week is going to look like. Um, then after today, you'll have an idea of what every other week will look like. Uh, so our format for this class is pretty simple. Every Sunday, I'll create a video like the one that you're watching and a weekly lesson plan. And then I'll text you and email you um, links to those. And then you'll have one week to complete the work assigned. Um, on Sunday. And then I really expect you to kind of check in with the class plan and watch the instructional video, you know, sometime early in the week, Monday or Tuesday, and then work on um, whatever we're, whatever tasks are assigned to you throughout the week. Um, and then those would be due the, the next Sunday. So sometime before midnight, you would want to make sure that you complete the work that I assigned. So today um, is the 23rd. So this work, I expect you to do August 24th through August 30th. So you have one week to do that before midnight on the 30th. And then after that, then that Sunday on the 30th, I'll post a new video, a new lesson, uh, weekly, a new, uh, a new weekly plan, and then you'll start doing the work for the next week. So let's take a look exa at exactly what this is going to look like here. I want to share my screen with you and show you what you can expect. So everything that we do in this class will be on the alimatucciblog.wordpress.com website. So real quickly, here's a visual of what that looks like. Today, what I really want you to be aware of is where to find the calendar. So you're just going to click on calendar. It will open up a new tab and take you to our class calendar. I do want to uh, read the Machupta land acknowledgement. We acknowledge and are mindful that CSU Chico stands on lands that were originally occupied by the first people in this area, the Machupta, and we recognize their distinctive spiritual relationship with this land and the waters that run through campus. We're humbled that our campus resides upon sacred lands that once sustained the Machupta people for centuries. So I do want to acknowledge um, that the land Chico State um, currently stands on is recognized as uh, Machupta land. And even if we're not physically there, I still uh, wanted to make sure that uh, we acknowledge that. So if you scroll down, there's some links to important information at the top of this, uh, but I just want to show you what a week is gonna look like in this class. So you'll notice here at the top, it says week one, August 24th to August 30th. So it gives you an idea of the range of time that these are assigned. So click here to view the weekly class plan. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I just wanna show you the class plan is more detailed. This middle column is all of the same information. It's just sort of a quick list with no instructions. And then on the right hand column, you have all of the homework that's due. So whichever blog or vlog we're working on that week, you'll click on um, the right hand column to see exactly what that work's gonna look like. So you'll notice there's a picture of my dog, Mona. Um, this is Mona Lisa at the top of this class plan. And I just think it's a funny picture that kind of speaks to me at this moment. <laughs> um, and then here as we scroll down, you'll see here's your English 130 to-do list. So first off, I did send out a welcome letter and frequently asked question form yesterday. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to review your email, please check your email um, or just click on this link here. And you'll go ahead, you'll be able to read the letter and then um, a bunch of questions, frequently asked questions are outlined down there. 
Um, so make sure you review the letter and those questions as soon as possible. And then there's also a link here to the Google form I emailed you about. If you haven't taken a moment to complete this form, please do so now. It's going to help me plan for um, the next few weeks and kind of give me an idea of what we all need to work on together. And then step number three is to join Remind. On that form you all filled out, um, the people who've responded so far said they're pretty familiar with Remind. Um, so hopefully it won't be too rough getting started on there. Here is our class information. Um, if you are having difficulty signing up for Remind, I ask for your phone number on that form so that I can just manually add you to the class. So just email me and let you know if you, let me know if you're having difficulty and I'll get you going on there. Let's go back to the weekly plan. So once you're set up on Remind, I just want you to quickly text me um, a short piece of writing. It's called a six word story. You can look up hashtag six word story um, and see a bunch of different examples online. It's pretty self-explanatory. Any six words will work. You'll just want to text me a six word story. So something that I like to do is just sort of like scan the area around me, take a look at like what you see, what you hear, um, what you're feeling, and then just create any sort of story that sort of encapsulates that. So my example is at the precipice, feeling cautiously optimistic. So that's how I'm feeling right now about this semester. So go ahead and share your six word story with me. It will give me an idea of who's on Remind and who might need some help um, getting signed up for Remind. So let's scroll down here to step four, create an English 130 shared folder. This is a really, really important step because every single thing we do in this class, um, we will do inside this Google folder. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're actually logged in. Whoops. You're actually logged in to your Wildcat email. So you might have a, a separate Gmail that you use, which is great, but I need to use, I need you to use your Chico State email for this class. And then you'll know that it's me here because you'll see my image. At some point, I would like you to go ahead and you can click on the little camera there and add an image of yourself. It really helps me um, to make sure that I'm sharing information like with the right people and it, 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 will, it will help you once you start sharing documents to know that you're sharing it with the correct email there. So this is my drive. I have a bunch of items in here. Yours is probably um, less full than this. So what we're going to do is go up here to the top left hand column. You're going to click on the button with the plus sign that says new and you'll click on folder. You're always going to start, uh, you're always going to title uh, assignments in this class, your first name and your last name. And then this folder is going to be titled English 130. So it's important you use your first and last name because even just this semester, I have uh, 50 students. Um, so it's, it's important that you put your first and last name, English 130, and then fall 2020. So that way I can um, categorize you and add you to a specific folder. Then we're going to click create. It will highlight the folder you just made. Now you're going to share this folder with me. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to click this um, drop down menu, go to the shared icon, and enter in my enter my email address right here, a m a t t e u c c i at mail dot. So you're going to want to make sure you select the email address that actually has my picture there. Okay. Now, anything you create all semester long will be shared with me in this folder. So if you're wondering how you turn stuff in for this class, that's how you turn things in. You just put them in this folder. So the idea is you always start a document in this folder um, and then you never actually have to turn it in. It just lives here all the time. So I definitely don't have time to get into everybody's folder and look at work early. It takes me uh, like a full week just to read through all, all 50 of your work, um, whatever the assignment is. It takes me, you know, some time to get through there. 
Uh, but what helps me out is if you just go to new document and create all your new documents when you're already in this folder. Then you're never, um, you're never risking uh, like not being able to share something with me or not turning in something on time. So as always, you'll create a new document, first name, last name. And then the homework this week is called blog number one. And let's do the date, 8, 24, 2020. 2020, yes, okay. So here, we're going to say blog number one. Now let's take a look at that assignment. So if you scroll to the bottom, we just created, we just finished step four. So if you look at your homework down here, it says post blog one, show and tell, making an introductory artifact. So I'm actually going to click on that and it will take you to the assignment. So you're gonna read through this assignment. Um, here's an example, actually Kendall Hoffman let me share one of the artifacts she created a couple years ago, um, or last year actually. So if you um, need some suggestions, there's a whole list of examples here that you could possibly create. So for this assignment, you're gonna create an artifact. When I say artifact, I mean a piece of art. Um, it can be literally anything that you wanna share or I think old school show and tell. So anything you wanna share with the class that you've made or created that you think um, tells us something about you. So here's my example. So I actually created this collage and a lot of the images symbolize um, things that are important to me. And so for this assignment, I would go ahead and create my collage. And then if we actually keep scrolling down here, I could then choose to write a blog or like I'm doing right now, I could create a video recording and walk you through the different questions listed here. So for instance, tell us about your artifact. So this is a collage I created. Why do you think this artifact represents you? I could say something like, um, you know, I have maybe like 30 house plants. I have a lot of house plants. Um, I'll try to show you them sometime. So um, like watering my house plants is a big part of my routine and um, something that I always like to represent. Um, there's also some fruit and some images of books. So I, I would walk you through the different aspects of my artifact. Um, so really this is an opportunity for us to get to know each other, for you to be creative and um, kind of adventurous in a way. Um, so after you create your artifact, you can write if that's comfortable to you or you can create a video and then there's some instructions for how to do both of those here. So I hope that that helps um, sort of familiarize you with the homework that we're doing. There's just one other aspect of the class plan that I want to walk you through. So let me close some of these windows here. Okay. So we're actually just going to go back to our drive. So again, make sure you're in your Wildcat email. We're gonna go back to our Google Drive. I'm gonna go back to my sample folder, the one that says first name, last name, English 130. And I'm gonna show you how to create a site. So you're gonna go here to the plus sign, new, and see where it says more. There's an additional pull down menu of apps. And we're actually gonna click on this one that says Google Sites. So part of uh, the work we do in this class, we'll be creating a website and we'll be building that out week by week. So this is not something where you're creating a website this week. 
Today we're just creating the website. So basically I just did it. So where it says um, your page title here, I'm gonna say Ali Matucci, English 130, portfolio. Okay. And then here, just like everything else we do in this class, you'll wanna make sure you add your first name, last name, English 130, portfolio. Okay. So eventually, when you create your artifact, you'll find a way to post your artifact here on your blog. And so I would go to my drive, I would select the document that we just created. Um, you can um, select the document that says first name, last name, blog number one, upload that here. And then if you have something like a video or a photo or an artifact like this, you'll want to like take a photo of it um, and then share it with us on the website. So we will be practicing this every single week. So it's okay if you're not really sure how to go about building the website yet. I understand that. We will have, you know, 16 weeks that we work on that. Um, it's just a goal for this week to create your Google Drive folder, create your Google site, create your blog or your artifact, and um, We'll work together to make sure they all end up where they're supposed to be. Um, but I'm really, really, really looking forward to um, reading and watching your artifacts and seeing what you all come up with. Um, it's a really good chance for me to get to know you and I hope that it will be a, a good chance for you all to get to know each other too. Um, it's going to be a little bit uh difficult to build community in the ways that we're used to building community so i really want to use your google sites and your online spaces um as third spaces or digital places where you can kind of explore um build content and also uh, build community and get to know each other there so um yeah, I hope this video sort of helped you get started. Again, if you have any questions, you can message me on Remind. You can email me at amatucci at mail.csuchico.edu. Um, if you want to schedule an individual Zoom meeting, uh, we can do that at any time. Just email me or text me and um, we'll find a time that works for both of us. Other than that, I will post another video next Sunday and then you would get started on that work. Um, and next week, if you wanna take a look at the class plan, we'll start looking at the syllabus and grading and some of the nuts and bolts of uh, the coursework that we'll be doing. So um, feel free to take a peek ahead at the calendar and let me know if you have any questions moving forward. Uh, again, I'm really excited to see your artifacts and I look forward to working with you all. Okay, have a great week. Bye.